We all love our children and we want our children to succeed. The college the children join after 12 determines their success rate to a very great extent. So let's take a couple of the competitive exams that come after the 12th grade. J Main, NEET, Karnataka CT and so on. There are nearly 11 lakh students who write the JE Main and there are only 39,000 seats. That's 3% of the students get seats through JE Main. Of the people who write JE Main, 10,000 end up in IIT. That's a 1% success rate. Less than 1. Let's take another popular exam. NEET. There are 14 lakh students who write the NEET exam. And there are only 75,000 seats through medical seats. That's 5%. Let's take another popular exam, the Karnataka CET. There are nearly 1,47,000 who write that exam and there are 59,000 seats. So the success rate in Karnataka CET is 40%. As parents, we are grown-ups. We don't take our investments and invest in places that perform less than the national average. Our children are some of the most precious gifts we have. So when we're taking admissions into colleges for 11th and 12th, are we asking the success rate of that college into the competitive exams of your child's interests? If the institute has got a success rate of less than the national average, why should we take admissions for our children in those institutes? Let's say the institute has 1,000 students who are pursuing medical and less than 50 students are getting seats into medical colleges then the success rate of that college is less than the national average. Like I said earlier, the college that our children join after 11th and 12th determines the success rate to a very great extent. Few institutes have got performances better than the national average. CFL is one of them. Nearly 50 to 60% of CFL students reach the top 10 colleges and the remaining 40 reach the top 10 colleges in the state. There are institutes like the Prakash Academy, institutes like the Super 30 Batch in Patna, or nearly 60% join the IITs. Why do these institutes perform so well? Because they really care for the students. They take care to find out what works, what doesn't work. They look at the latest research that is happening in education and how children learn and incorporate that into the curriculum. So if you want your children to succeed, you have to take the time, you have to take the effort and make an informed decision to find the right college for your students in 11 to 12.